Well, here we are. I mean, we're stuck in a rut, but what a great weather rut to be in. It's been really quiet going back to uh, Saturday of this past weekend. And the overall weather pattern going forward right through this upcoming holiday weekend isn't very exciting. Good news this time of the year. You don't want weather excitement. You want it to be quiet. It means we're not having to contend with severe weather. Uh, looking at the month of May, what's interesting is how wet the month started. The first half of the month, it seems like we couldn't get away from the rain. And now things have gone quiet and it looks like rain is going to be tough to come by not only through this upcoming weekend, we're almost to the end of May, but I think through the rest of the month of May. And even though we're knocking on the door of five inches and we're only about a half an inch away from the normal May rainfall for the entire month, we may not make that figure. We may not. Uh, this may go down as a near or even slightly below normal month in regard to rainfall because of how dry the pattern is getting and how it will stay that way. And here's the reason why across the nation, we've got pockets of unsettled weather. We've got a pocket here in the western United States. We've got a pocket here in the southeastern United States. But notice from Canada all the way to the Gulf of Mexico here in the middle of the country, it's quiet. And when we take a look at the jet stream pattern, we see that we have this trough in the west, ridge here in the middle of the country, and trough in the eastern United States. This is called an omega block because it resembles the Greek letter omega. And when you get into a pattern like this, it's really tough to get out of that pattern. So what you have in terms of your weather is probably what you're going to contend with for the next several days. Luckily for us, it's quiet weather and we're going to stay in the quiet zone. We're on the west side of this trough here in the eastern United States and that tends to be a dry location, at least in regard to the trough position. So this is going to be a quiet zone of weather, generally speaking, right through this upcoming weekend. At the surface, we're also blowing in a lot of dry air. That's why it still feels very nice outside. I mean, it was a little warmer today than it was this past weekend, but humidity levels remaining low. But even in this very quiet weather pattern, there's still a shot at a little wet weather. And here's where it's going to come from. We've got this surface trough here in the deep south, pocket of moisture associated with that. That's going to be drifting off to the west northwest across our area over the next several days. So as it marches through our area, it will bring with it a chance for some spotty shower and thunderstorm activity. For tomorrow, most of the area dry, but our eastern counties here along and east of Highway 63, a shot at a spotty shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon or early evening. Wednesday appears to be our best shot area wide for some widely scattered shower and thunderstorm activity. And then by Thursday, it looks like that feature is going to shift off to the west and most of the area will be dry on Thursday with the best chance for maybe an isolated shower or two over toward I-49 stretching south down into uh, northwest Arkansas. We've also got this backdoor front that's going to be sweeping in from the northeast and that's going to usher in mild and dry air for Friday and then that's going to continue into this upcoming weekend. So really good weather pattern for this time of the year to be in. Uh, temperatures tonight falling back into the 50s. Looks like about 54 in Springfield. Highs tomorrow up near 80. Winds light again out of the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Looking at Wednesday, it'll be a bit more humid. Just a hair warmer, uh, looks like maybe 81 for the high. Winds also a little bit breezier out of the southeast. And then on Thursday, winds be out of the east northeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. And it looks like about 82 for a high. Looking at our rain chances into this upcoming weekend, I think we're going to be able to drop them back down to zero for Friday and Saturday. I'll go ahead and throw in a 10% chance just because it's six, seven days down the road. And of course, things can come into play that we don't see at this stage of the game. But uh, I would say that it looks like it's probably going to be dry on Sunday and Monday. And there's a look at our Memorial Day weekend. Not bad. 78 on Friday, 79 on Saturday, low humidity both days, 82 for high on Sunday. And for Memorial Day, it looks like a high of about 84 degrees. This after a morning low on that day in the low 60s. Good pool opening weather. Yeah, not bad. It really is. Not bad. Very quiet seven day forecast. And as I said, I mean, we're almost to the end of the month of May. I think we're going to be able to see you know, we're going to close out the month of May like that and go into early June like that. All right. Summer's coming. All right. Thanks, Jamie. On this day, 12 years ago, a powerful tornado tore through